Hi. Here's a psoriasis eczema video, and this one's going to cover exploiters of pain. Exploiters of pain are in interested in profit. That's it. And what inspired me to make this video was yesterday on television, I saw a advertisement for the dermatology associates of the state that I live in, and one of the things they said in the video was, or in the commercial, was that there's no cure, there's definitely no cure, and everyone knows that, for psoriasis. Well, that couldn't be more false, because the cure is to eat a diet your family heritage ate, and to get away from all that sugar. All right, well, psoriasis eczema, P&E, skin, exploiters of pain. Peony skin condition sufferers will forever be exploited by the greedy and insensitive exploiters of pain till the real truth is learnt. The food manufacturers, drug manufacturers, and dermatologists are three of the greedy and insensitive exploiters of pain. The real truth about the cause of your poor skin is that any skin condition is a direct reflection of the diet you are eating. And the saying, you are what you eat, is as true today as ever. The processed food manufacturers are exploiters of pain because the food supply was changed without your knowledge or consent. Slowly but deliberately over the last 30 years, beet sugar, a cheaper, easier to produce sugar, uh, was substituted for cane sugar. Most people think they're getting cane sugar when they're purchasing sugar, uh, but it's beet sugar. It's hard to make causational decision about your health uh, when the food's source, such as sugar, was radically changed without anyone knowing. And this beet sugar, sucrose, has been added to nearly every processed food because it gets people to eat more. The dermatologists and pharmaceutical companies know this. It is the sugar in our diets. Uh, that is the major cause of psoriasis because sugar produces fatty inflammation and that's what psoriasis is. But they continue with their message that there's no cure for these skin conditions. Like I had heard in that commercial spot yesterday on the television, they said that uh, there's no... Every, they actually said during the commercial they said Everyone knows there's no cure. I mean, that's just pretty sad, really. But we all know there is a cure, and the cure is to eat a diet uh, that you evolved with. All right. Uh, let's see. They're interested in one thing, and that is to make a profit selling you known false remedies to mask the symptoms caused by eating a diet your family heritage did not eat. And the dermatologists do that. They're, they're good at uh, knowing known false remedies uh, to mask the symptoms. That's about all they know. All right, the few food groups that need to be avoided completely to see improvement of your PE are sugar and sugar substitutes, most fruit. Uh, an exception in the fruit category is bananas. Tomatoes need to be avoided, and all nightshade foods. Soy, commercial dairy, and meat because the commercial animals are fed soy, beet pulp, and tomatoes. This animal feed could be contaminating the meat and dairy products. I hope you achieve the beautiful clear skin you need and want. Good luck. Alright, my three foods not to eat on this video are ice cream. Ice cream is full of sugar, amongst other things, and that sugar is probably beet sugar, and if you have psoriasis, sugar is not a good idea. All sugar should be avoided, all added sugar should be avoided, and there's a lot of added sugar in a processed ice cream, and 
even ice cream itself has sugar in it, so I'd avoid ice cream. Cookies. Cookies, uh, I don't care what kind of cookie you buy these days, it's going to have sugar in it, so best to avoid cookies. Alright, here's a processed food that is addictive just like those cookies I just showed you. And this is full of beet sugar, believe it or not. I mean, nearly every processed food today has beet sugar in it because it's such a, a cheap, addictive additive that the food manufacturers can use that sells product. And it's addictive, and it's hard, it's hard to break those addictions. But once you do, it's easy to stay away. And okay, let's see how I got about about a minute left. All right, the exploiters of pain. The only thing they're interested in is uh, their profit. They could care less about the your health or the health of your family. And it's really pretty sad, actually, that. Uh, no one seems to be in charge of the exploiters of pain, and no one can really hold them to account because it's uh, it's a pretty cruel world out there. Everyone's got to make a buck, I guess. All right, well, just beware. There's exploiters of pain out there, and they're going to try to tell you in their commercials that there's no cure for psoriasis, but there is. Avoid the foods that I just mentioned. And you'll probably do it. All right. Have a good one.